Air traffic controllers work long shifts, constantly deal with changing conditions, and most importantly, are in charge of keeping passengers safe. Aerospace lecturer Tara Jorgensen is here to tell us how she dealt with the stress of the job and how she trains future controllers. Well, hello. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. All right. So tell me how you became interested in the field of aviation. Well, I was working at an office manager in Houston, Texas, and one of my bosses, when I was picking him up at the airport, thought that my personality would enjoy flying, and uh, for Christmas, they uh, bought me my first flying lesson and my ground school books, and so as soon as I started taking lessons, I knew aviation was what I wanted. What so. a cool gift. I don't think many, many people get that kind of Christmas gift. No, not too many. So, Good but thing it, they it, did. Yes, very much so. So how did you go from thinking you wanted to maybe be a pilot to going over into the air traffic control side of things? Well, it just, uh, I was just a flight instructor as far okay. as being a pilot. And okay. so it was a lot of long hours, no benefits mm -hmm. and stuff. And I really felt that uh, I wanted to uh, get into air traffic control. It was a more secure job than being a flight instructor. Okay, and so then you did that for a long time, and then mm -hmm. you actually said that you went back to school while still working because you wanted mm -hmm. to teach yep. air traffic control? Yep, I have both an aviation management degree but to, and also got a degree in accounting in case I wanted to go into the business aspect of it, but yes. So that has to be a pretty big difference in... Um, in um, environments going from the air traffic control to actually teaching. What, what was the change of environments like? It's, um, it's not real bad as far because we have a lot of simulators at UND, so it's actually very realistic. You have a 360 tower where you're, you feel like you're really in a tower. You see the runways out um, away from the tower. You, it's very, very realistic. And so it's actually, um, you're teaching the exact rules that the FAA teaches their traffic controllers when they have to go into work. And so it actually is very realistic. Realistic. Yeah. Well, we actually just showed a video of the flight simulator that the students mm -hmm. uh, work and learn from. Mm -hmm. What is that like? And is it pretty much exactly like what they'd be doing at the actual job? Yes, it is. Yep. It's very, very similar. Like I said, we teach the calls the 71 10.65 the rules for air traffic control and we do exactly we show them the same uh, separation for runways we uh, show them the same separation for in the simulators where we have radar scopes and so they they are actually learning the rules that they will use when they become air traffic controllers. So I suppose the main difference is that they're not going to be feeling the actual stress involved when they're in the job, but they're learning all the components around it. Yes. But what would you say a day on the job of an air traffic controller is like, typically? Well, um, you work many different shifts, so you, depending on the shift, uh, you, uh, gosh, typical day. Um, Maybe it's there isn't just, a typical day. <laughs> well, there isn't. Uh, the one thing about air traffic control that I found interesting was you always say it's never the same twice. Yeah. It's always different. And that's what really got my interest was I never got bored. Mm -hmm. There was never any time to be bored because you're constantly doing something just a little bit different. So so you told me that you would say that air traffic control is kind of like an adrenaline rush. How come? Mm -hmm. Why would you say that? Well, it when you're working and it gets really busy, um, it can feel like adrenaline rush when you're done. Mm -hmm. When you get off position and you've really run a lot of heavy traffic, um, you really feel highly pumped. <laughs> highly pumped. So the job does have a reputation as being a high stress career with one of the actually highest suicide rates, I think, I believe behind dentists. What do you think mm -hmm. that's caused by? Um, I'm not sure about the, because I actually have never known anybody in air traffic control that, uh, that has committed suicide. Um, it is stressful. Um, I feel the stress is caused from the different shift work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in one week you'll work three different shifts. Um, you get tired, you get fatigued. You only have to have eight hours between each shift. Mm -hmm. So if you live a distance from work, you have to drive, you have to get something to eat, get into bed, fall asleep, get up, get ready in the morning, and so you might end up with five hours of sleep. And so um, I think it's the, I think the shift work and, you know, the change in environment lots of times, um, 
but I think mainly the shift work causes the shift fatigue. Work in the uneven sleeping patterns you might yes. have. Mm -hmm. So there is a mandatory retirement age. What mm -hmm. is it and how do you feel about that policy? 56 and um, I think it's really more of a personal issue. Mm -hmm. um, I was ready to retire and I retired quite early but I had 22 years in. But there's other people and um, that want to keep working and I think it's really an individual um, preference. So when you were working, what did you do personally to combat any stress or fatigue that you were mm -hmm. feeling? Um, I enjoyed reading. Um, lots of times they have um, quiet rooms where you can go in, nobody's to be talking, you can just sit there, read a newspaper, a book, whatever you want to do. Um, I also enjoyed going outside and just walking the um, the parking lot, just kind of walk around and just get some of the fatigue. Some places actually had basketball hoops oh. where people could play a little basketball if they wanted to. Um, and it's uh, so just kind of have to know your preference. But I enjoyed reading lots of times. If I even if the quiet room had a lot of people in it, I go find just a empty room and sit and read. So basically it's a stressful job if you know you can't manage your your time and your sleep patterns and everything but it doesn't necessarily have to be as long as you can deal no. with that. Yeah it's as long as you know yourself and how you best can release your stress. Um, I love to power walk and I would do a lot of power walking when I get home off my shifts and before my shifts and stuff like that. So. Okay well thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you.